Peter O'Mahony is going to win his 100th cap this weekend. Can you talk about O'Mahony a little bit and the O'Mahony you first saw come into the squad in around 2012 and, you know, when he first comes onto the scene, everyone's very excited. He probably goes through that period a lot of players do when they're along for a while where everyone thinks one of the young Leinster lads is probably going to come in and take his place, yet he's still here at 34, uh, going to be starting in all likelihood in knockout games at a World Cup. Yeah, an amazing contribution. Uh, I think any time... There's no bad centurions in world rugby. That's the reality of it, um, irrespective of, um, you know, what country you play for. If you play 100 times, um, it's, it's, you know, you're a very, very high calibre player. Um, to show a consistency over more than a decade, um, to be able to put up with injuries and play half fit or three quarters fit as many players have to these days is... It shows a mental toughness and a resilience. So all of those components are, are are hugely important to people that get to play that many test matches. And then you look back to his big moments over the course of, you could pick, probably more recently in the last five, six years, when he's become a mainstay of the team and a very important leader within the team. We talk about his ability at line out time, you know, defensively, but also guaranteeing possession at two is that was all important last week as mm. well against um against South Africa. And then turning up with massive moments and you can think of a handful off the top of your head, turnovers in particular, um, that huge reach against the All Blacks in Aviva a couple of years ago when it looked as though they they were through on the try line with the with the ball kicked in behind and he came from nowhere. So those moments um, stick out in the in the memory. I think in the in the early part he was probably considered someone that kind of came and went from games a little bit. That you know had big moments, but I think there's been a greater consistency. The older he's gotten, and uh, the more involvements he's had, the more he's improved with with his skill set. If you look, he probably wasn't the most versatile um, of back rowers with regard to. Um, being able to mix the physical with the soft hands and 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 there's a be, been huge development on that part of his game. A lot of the really great subtlety comes from him and Doris these days. Um, just being able to play heads up, and I think he's he obviously had huge potential as a rugby player early on, but I think his his football growth has been significant. As much as the body probably is aching a bit now, I think his. IP is significant to to be able to manage that those aches and pains, but also find a way to make big impacts within his performances, which he's doing. Um, and you know those touches, the passes out the back, and you can even see it in Munster. He's bringing that net down to them now as they're trying to change and evolve their game. Mm. I think he and Ty Byrne are the big catalysts for it in in their club. So uh, yeah, he's you know been a a, a phenomenal. Um, battler and um, and an enforcer at times, and um, yeah, like I'm sure he'll feel as though he's a few left in him yet. And but what a you know what an impressive last five six years he's had in the international stage.